everybody is familiar with the suction catheter for doing nasal suctioning and a lot of times you're going up somebody's nose you're causing bleeding you're causing trauma especially patients that need frequent suctioning and they're on blood thinners uh, there's also coiling of the suction catheter in the back of the throat just like the picture shows and there's also the issue of nasal colonized bacteria such as MRSA MRSA that colonizes in people's nose so you're actually at risk you could be pushing something down their nose down deep into their lungs so you are at risk of pushing down MRSA as well as other bacteria um, with these issues uh, as well as the dummy head basically sometimes people uh, have nasal blockages, maybe they had sinus surgery, deviated septums, sometimes you can't go up the nose at all. And in those cases, basically, how would you suction your patient? You know, maybe you would try to go through their mouth, but they would probably just bite it and, and you wouldn't get very far. So that's really where the no bite comes into play. And basically, this is the red button, this is the light switch, and it's a uh, suction catheter introducer for the oral airway. Um, basically there's going to be two, two methods to doing this. Uh, you always preload the tip of the suction catheter and we recommend holding it like a pen that way your fingers pinching the catheter so the weight of the tubing doesn't just pull it out. So the first scenario uh, we're going to pretend this is your awake patient. So you have your awake patient you always want to take the pillow out tilt the head back and you're basically going to This is a bite proof material, so they're not going to damage the no bite. And basically, you can see the suction catheter goes, it still goes freely even if that patient's biting down. So you would basically just go in a little bit. About a few inches. And if you look on the dummy here, it's going to be in the laryngopharyngeal area. So most of the secretions are hanging out right here. You'll stimulate them to cough, bring up more phlegm, and you should be fine. Um, the one big misconception is uh, on your awake patient, you just use it like a tongue depressor. You don't want to gag them because this is your awake patient. So just a little bit. You know that All you really need is for them to bite on this so they're not actually biting on the catheter. So then you could freely move down your catheter. Um, one of the techniques that I like to do, because uh, we don't live in a perfect world, a lot of times people want to move around and then it makes it pretty difficult if you're by yourself. So what I do sometimes, I call it the hand That way if they're moving, you could still suction them and you'll be fine. Um, it may look a little mean, but you're kind of just, you're just really holding them. So it's no big deal. Um, if somebody was really moving a lot, you could use a two-person approach. And in that case, it would look something like this. You would kind of hold them like that. That way, if they're moving a lot, you would be the one holding it. And then your partner would be the one suctioning. So, um, so that leads me to the second uh, type of suctioning. This, this person would be more of a deep suctioning. This is somebody who is lethargic. They're heading towards an intubation. Um, maybe they're on BiPAP and, and last ditch effort you really want to do some deep accurate suctioning and to, to help this person out and prevent this intubation and we've actually proven to prevent intubations with a no bite and have uh, saved hospitals a cost of about twenty nine thousand dollars per patient if you could just save one uh, one patient from being intubated um, so same thing you start off the same way you take the pillow out you tilt the head back uh, in this, so since you're doing deep suctioning, in this case you would want to go deep. So you would gag this patient, but this is somebody who is really in deep trouble. Um, you know, so if they did have a sensitive gag, you could always spray them. Usually they're kind of lethargic and, and, and uh, kind of out of it, so they really don't have much of a gag left. It's usually not an issue. So you would go deep in that sense. Um, if you look, if you look uh, right here, you'll see the, the benefit of the no bite is that you actually could get some lift. And by getting that lift right here, you'll see it kind of lift up. That's how you get your accuracy out of the product. So you're actually facilitating opening up their airway, and then you would just go down with your suction catheter, suction them out, and you'd be done. And in that case, you could do your deep suctioning if you needed to. Um, of course, the catheter is soft. 
and it doesn't really go on the dummy head very well uh, because the, the rubber on the dummy head is a very hard rubber. So I'll just show you real quick uh, with the bougie how easy it is to go in. So. Basically, just want to go in like that, depress the back of the tongue. And you see, we're in right here. So, I don't know if you can see it, but you're in the airway. And it's really it. That's, that's really what you do. You would just suction them out from there. And that's it.